B1 English Test GESA Grade 5 Trinity College London For indefinite leave to remain in the UK Permanent Settlement British Citizenship Naturalization and Permanent Residency Self-Secure English Language Tests Uh, okay, yeah, but... so let's try to pick. I know you don't have much free time, but we're going to choose a brilliant topic for you that you can talk about and easily pass. If you know Trinity College London graded examinations in spoken English, no listening test, just spoken English. This is a topic form that you have to take with you on the examination yeah. day, all right? You can also um, get it from your examination center. This yeah. is just a nine minutes test. What it is, just a nine minutes test. And okay. it is very simple. First of all, okay, nine to 10 minutes at least, 10 minutes, let's say it's a 10 minutes test. Yeah. Uh, first examiner will have a discussion with you about a topic that we are going to yeah. decide together now. And then the examiner will choose two topics of his or her own choice and discuss with you. Okay? Yeah. Uh, each topic would be discussed for two and a half minutes. Right? Two yeah. and a half minutes. Do you understand? Okay. Yeah. That's super cool. So now let's begin choosing your topic. As you started telling me about your hobbies i would love to choose the topic hobbies for you okay so let's yeah see that. Uh, hobbies that's your topics title and then when examiner would ask you what's your topics title what would you say my topics title is hobbies and when examiner okay. will say what are your five topic points we're just going to decide those five topic points now yeah so, uh, your name is Nora or Noor? Noor. Okay, Noor. So, um, Noor Ajan is N O R A J A N. Noor Ajan. Noor Ajan. Okay, Nora, I would like to ask you. You told me yourself also that you like meeting friends, right or wrong? Meeting yeah. friends. And you also like shopping, you said, right? Yeah. Um, you also like traveling. Yeah. And probably you told me. Also my family. Spending time with family. Yeah. Spending time with family. And also we decided eating out. Yeah, you love to eat out. Yeah. Eating. That's it. That is all. Yeah. You can take a picture of this, and when you will fill in your form, you have to write this just like it uh, on your topic form. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm going to have a test with you for five minutes about these topic points. If you can answer my questions or not, you ready? Yeah. I'm going to set a timer on the screen so that we can strictly question you about uh, this topic for five minutes. Hold on. Um, so I'm going to start now. You ready? Yeah. This is Trinity College London GESE grade five test B1 level for permanent citizenship in the UK, citizenship, naturalization, and indefinite leave to remain in the UK. My name's Angelina. What's your full name? My name's uh, Nurajan Uriahil. What's your topic's title for today? Uh my topics about uh, my uh, shopping, uh, enjoy with my kid, wife, the kids, uh, the family, and Nora. Nora, listen to me. Uh, First question that the examiner will ask you is, "What is your topics title?" 
You want oh, to, my topic's title is hobbies. Oh, hobbies. Then the examiner would ask you, what are your five topic points? Five topic points. All right. Then you will say, my five topic points are meeting friends, shopping, traveling, spending time with family, and eating out. Okay. If you want me to write it for you, I can write it for you. Yes, please. Can I write it for me? Okay, hold on. First question examiner will ask you is your full name. Second question straight up examiner will ask you what's your topic's title for today? What's your topic? Topics title, topic. title to for today. today. This is what examiner will ask you. Okay. Then you would say my topic's title is hobbies. My topic topics title is hobbies right yeah but the next question the examiner will ask you is what are your five topic points what will the examiner ask you what are what are your five topic points so then you can say my five topic points are my five topic points my five Points are meeting are friends, meeting friend, and all that. Okay, all these points that are mentioned in here, you will mention them. Ready? I'm gonna restart now. Yeah. Okay, let's start again. This is Trinity College London ISC one. Apologies. This is Trinity College London GESC Grade Five test for permanent citizenship in the UK. My name's Angelina. I am your interlocutor for your spoken exam. What is your full name? My name is Nurajan Huriakhil. What's your topic's title for today? Uh, my topic is on my hobby, uh, meeting the friend and shopping. Um, I meet, uh, see with my family and the second, third one was uh, uh, in, enjoy with my friend. I don't know what's that. Oh, this is make a hobby. Uh, eating with, oh, well, eating without a meeting with my friend and shopping and traveling and that's it. Fast, fast. Okay, if examiner will ask you, what are your five topic points? My five topic points are meeting friends, shopping, me, me, traveling, me. spending time with family, and eating out. Oh, eating out. Yeah, yeah, I see. Eating out. Once again, please. What are your five topic points? Uh, my topping is... Uh, Eating out, a meeting with my friend, and shopping and traveling. No, Rajan, these are your topic uh, points. Points. Point. Point. Oh, uh, my topic is my ho hobby. Nora, title. Uh, title is the main head. Title. Head. Title is hobbies. Hobbies. But under it, topic points. These are called topic points. One, two, three, four, five. Name is topic points. Uh, topic points are uh, eating out, meeting with a friend, and shopping uh, with uh, my family, uh, uh, spending time with my family, and shopping and uh, traveling. Mm, good job. I will start again now. My name's Angelina. What's your full name? My name is Nurajan Huriakhil. What's your topic's title for today? Uh, my topic is uh, eat, eating out, 
meeting with a friend. Title so, is hobbies. That's the first question examiner will ask you. Second question oh. examiner will ask you, what are your five topic points? Five topic points. Then you will say oh. eating out, meeting friends, spending time with family, traveling. Okay. The first time I ask you a question about my hobbies. Nora, can I tell you in uh, Urdu? Do you English word. Urdu or English? What language should I use? English, English. So, sir, uh, first examiner, first question, title. Title. What is your topic's title? Main heading, title. Your title uh, is hobbies. My uh, hobbies. title is hobbies. What are your five topic points? My five topic points are eating out, spending time with family, shopping, traveling, and meeting friends. Oh, my topic is hobbies. Ah, oh, okay, fine. Mm, let's start again, because this is the beginning of the test that you need to understand what you have to do about it, okay? Yeah. Laura, open mind a little bit. Try to understand yeah. what I'm saying. You need to open your mind. Open mind. Okay. Once again. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. My name's Angelina. What's your full name? My name is Nurajan. What is your topic's title for today? My topic is um, uh, hobbies. What are your five topic points? Uh, eating out, meeting with friends, and spending time with my family, shopping, and traveling. Thank you. Now the exam begins. Uh, sorry? Let's start now. Now, yeah. the examiner will ask you three to four questions about each point. So I'm going to start off with the first point. How often do you meet your friends? Oh, I meet with my friend, uh, with a friend. I go out with my friend by some eating, uh, go to a restaurant, go have a nice food, uh, Afghani restaurant, Pakistani Nora, restaurant. Nora, Nora, I'm asking you, how often do you meet your friends? Once in a week, twice in a week, every day. How often do you meet your friends? That's oh, one, one time in a week. Because I don't have time. I'm busy. Oh, how often? One, yeah. one more time. I'll start again. My name's Angelina. What's your full name? My name is Nurajan. What's your topic's title for today? Uh, my topic's my hobby. What are your five topic points? Uh, uh, eating out, meeting with my friend, and shopping, uh, spending time with my family, and traveling. Okay. What do you do when you meet your friends? I meet with my friend. I go for go to restaurants, some eating food, and hmm. yeah, uh, go to like Pakistani or Afghani restaurant to eat to just enjoy it. Do you think it is important to meet friends? Uh huh. Do you think it is important to meet friends? Yeah, yeah, of course, because sometimes they're going to come to see me. Sometimes I'll go to see him and just go out when you have free time to go out with my friend. Where do you go shopping? Where? I go shopping like a supermarket, Asda, Tesco, Sunsbury, Madison. Okay, and how often do you go shopping? Oh, uh, one time a week. What do you like to buy when you go shopping? I go buy like uh, milk, uh, like bread, eggs, 
some vegetable, some buy some fruit. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. And, and could you tell me about a place where you traveled recently? Uh, I like to go travel uh, um, to my country. I will go to Spain, travel it. It's good for summer because summer is people go out um, mm. for, for a holiday, two weeks. But I'm asking you recently, a week ago or two weeks back or one year ago, did you travel somewhere? You traveled to Spain? When did you travel to When did you travel to Spain? Uh, I, I go last time I traveled to Iran. So that's, that's what I'm asking. Recently means like, uh, where did you go two weeks ago or three weeks ago or one year back? Recently, where did you go? So if I would ask yeah. you, could you tell me where did you travel recently? So you would say I traveled to um, Iran recently. Yeah, last time I go to travel to Iran. Okay, how do you like to travel? How? By flight. Okay, and with who do you like to travel? Who do you like to travel with? Oh, I like to travel by train, by flight. Who do you like to travel with, sir? Who? Who do you like to oh, travel with? With my family. Hmm. With my family. What do you do to spend good time with your family? How do you spend good time with your family? Oh, I like to go spend the time, but uh, go for... Uh, you go have holiday, you have to spend the time with my family. What activities do you enjoy doing with your family? Well, buy, go to buy a nice restaurant, uh, go a little bit shopping uh, for my family. Okay. Uh, could you tell me about a place where you like to eat out? Uh, eat out place. Uh, why here or back where? In Iran or is here? Here, sir. Anywhere, uh, any place. Where do you like to eat out? Yeah, but restaurant. What kind of restaurant do you like to eat out at? Oh, I like to go like restaurant, uh, uh, like uh, Indian uh, restaurant, Pakistani restaurant, or well, Afghani restaurant because you go have nice doing food, biryani, they doing kabuli, palau, like chakli kebab. Do you like to eat out on special occasions? Yes. I like to go out with my family, with my kids. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. This is the end of the first part. That is the five minutes discussion. Okay. Any confusion? No. Okay. Now I'm going to start the second part with you. Yeah. Okay. And remember, this exam is always on a computer, just like I'm on computer online with you right now. Examiner is yeah. always online on a computer with you. You go to the examination center, but your examiner comes online on the screen, okay? Yeah. So now we're gonna begin with the second part of uh, the test, okay? Mm -hmm. That is also five minutes. I will choose two topics of my choice and I would ask you to discuss with me, okay? Nora, yeah. you don't have to talk, Nora, you don't have to talk by yourself for two and a half minutes, but you have to, examiner will ask you questions and then examiner will also say, okay, you ask me questions too. You also question me about the topic yeah. because this is a conversation. So now we're going to begin with the last part of the test that is discussion about two subjects about the topics chosen by the examiner. Let's begin. Yeah. The topic of conversation that I've chosen for you is visiting your favorite places. So what kind of places do you like to visit? 
oh, places, visit uh, Iran. Okay. Why do you like to visit this place? Because you have uh, everything is cheaper, it's so very enjoyable because uh, nice sunny uh, weather is very nice. Uh, weather is good. This is why I like to go enjoy it there. Okay, all right. Could you tell me about any of your favorite places in the countryside that you like to visit? I'll ask about you, huh? Countryside means like mountain area. Any places in the mountain area in your country that you like to visit? Yeah, I like to go sometime in the uh, about mountain side, like a countryside, uh, nice uh, flower, nice area, and beautiful area. Very good. Okay, right. Could you please ask me two questions about the, my favorite places where I like to go? What is your favorite place to you have to go? I like to visit to the shopping malls and and sometimes I like to visit the countryside. What about you? I like to go sometimes about seaside. And what do you do when you go to the to the beach? Oh, by swimming. I like to go swimming. That's nice. Now. The second topic, the second topic of conversation is your favorite famous person in your country. So who is your favorite famous person in your country? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> famous uh, person in my country. Hmm. My wife. Oh, your wife is not famous. Your wife is your favorite person, but she's not famous. Famous means a popular person, maybe a celebrity, a singer, a famous sportsman, a sports person, anyone. Oh, talk about sport or music or some, uh, which one? Like famous person. Uh, hmm. I like the famous person, Nagma. Nagma, because I like his music. Okay. And do you have any famous politician in your country? No. No, I don't have famous politician in my country, no. Now you can ask me two questions about my favorite person, famous person uh, in my country. What, yeah, what's your famous, uh, famous person in your country? Uh, my favorite famous person in my country would be probably not the politicians, but I think they're very talented singers and artists in my country. Singer. So can you please tell me, have you oh, ever followed any of your favorite famous people on social media? Social media. Hmm. Do you follow or, them? No, I'm not following social media. You don't follow them like Instagram, YouTube, or uh, Facebook, anywhere? You don't follow your favorite celebrities? No. I don't think so. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is the end of the test. Congratulations. You have passed. Good Are job. you sure? Yes, you passed. Just keep in mind your topic, okay? I know rest of the questions you can handle. You know, when examiner will say, okay, now you ask me questions, I know you can question. You know, when examiner will ask you questions, you can 
answer that too. But this thing uh, doesn't have that in here. You can. No, uh, ask you by examiner, ask you by one and a half minute to uh, talk about something. Uh, what's that half minute, one and a no, half no, minute? No, 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 not all, all by yourself. It's a conversation, just like you were talking to me. Then who is your favorite person? You know, it's a conversation. Conversation means two people are involved talking. Uh -huh. It's not that you have to talk all by yourself. No. Okay. How is my accent is English? Is okay? No, accent no, that doesn't matter. matter. What only thing you will be given marks for three things. These yeah. are the points that matter. Point number one, communicative skills, grammar. Lexis means your vocabulary, phonology. Okay. Conversation yeah. means communicative skills, the way you talk to your examiner that matters. And then grammar mm -hmm. and lexis and okay. phonology. Phonology means your pronunciation. This is the meaning of it. But when did it come a result? Uh, like one day after or two days? One day, maybe one one day or one day after, I believe. You receive an email. Okay. So just like this is CD pass. Okay. Uh, uh, e, uh, CD pass, yeah? Yes, GESE grade five test for permanent residence in the UK. Yeah. So first topic is topic for five minutes, okay? And the second yeah. part is not that you have to talk by yourself. It's a conversation. Conversation means you and your examiner talk about something together, okay? Uh, your examiner yeah. will ask you questions and you may also ask questions from your examiner about the same topic. Or if you will not ask questions from your examiner... You know, the examiner will tell you him or herself that, okay, now you ask me something. Now you ask me questions, right? You know? yeah, yeah. It's very simple. Yeah. Very, very simple. Thank you so much. I will be meeting you hopefully never because you're going to pass this test. But do not forget to message me after your test. Give me a call. Okay, the teacher, my exam is done. These are my topics. Exam was good or bad. You will tell me, okay? Thank you very much. Take care. I hope this session helped you. Inshallah.